Hey there, Algebra 2. <clears throat> Today we're going to be talking about um, logs that have two terms um, on the inside of the parentheses that are being multiplied or divided and how we can break those up. Well, um, just we're going to go over a problem here to show a proof um, for um, what do you do when you have two terms being multiplied um, in, in front of a log. Well, if we could rewrite, since we have a base of 2, just like we did in, in times in our last section, we can actually rewrite 16 with that base and call that 2 to the 4th and say that 8 is 2 to the 3rd. Now we know that uh, 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 3rd is 2 to the 7th, which we said if you have a log with a base of 2 and then the larger base is 2 also, we know that this is equal to the logarithm, which is 7. Well, if we were to break these up, say log base of 2 of 2 to the 4th plus log base 2 of 2 to the 3rd, we'd end up with, again, these cancel out. You're left with the logarithm 4. This one ends up being 3, which is 7 also. So this just proves that we can actually break up the logs. So if I give you log base b, of x times y, the way we can rewrite this is log of b, or log base b x plus log base b y. So we're going to be able to use this to solve for variables now. So again, when you have it multiplied on the inside, it's going to be, um, you could split it up by saying log of the first term plus log of the second term. And that goes for the same thing for division. If I give you log base b of x over y, you can say this is log base b of x minus log base b of y. So these are the two um, identities that we're going to be dealing with. Again, if they're being multiplied on the inside, we could separate them, say log plus log. Here, if it's being divided on the inside, we can say log minus log. Well, our first problem here, it says write each expression in expanded form. So we want to go from here to there. So write it in expanded form. We don't want to have any term being um, multiplied by the next. So we see here 7 times r times t. So since it's all multiplied, we can rewrite this as log base 3 of 7 plus log base 3 of r plus log base 3 of t. And that's all we have to do. All it wants us to do is write it in expanded form. So again, so since we have three terms being multiplied, we could separate them all with plus signs. And just make sure a log goes before each one. Okay, now we have two terms being multiplied on top and one in the denominator. So we're going to handle all our numerators first. Anything in the numerator gets a positive log. So log base 5 of 4 plus log base 5 of c. And since d is in the denominator, it's minus log base 5 of d. Okay, So these are pretty basic right now. Um, one more. Again, anything in the numerator is a positive log. Anything in denominator is a negative log. So here we have log bm plus log bn minus log, oops, minus log b5. And since p is also in the denominator, it still is a minus log bp. All right, so now, um, even though p and 5 are being multiplied, they both get a negative, because if you think about it, we're going to put the whole denominator in here, log b5, and then since it's multiplied, we put a plus, log bp. But since it's denominator, it's a minus, so we just went ahead and distribute that negative. That's, how, that's why they're both negative. So the key thing to remember is anything in the numerator is a positive log. Anything in the denominator is a negative log. Okay? All righty. So now we're going to go the opposite way. We went into expanded form. Now we're going to make this into one term. So we just want one term here. So what you have to do is look for the symbols in front. Anything positive log is going to be in the numerator multiplied, not added, multiplied. So this 8 times we have a t squared and since these are both negative 
we're going to put those in the denominator. We have a 2t and an m. So we have 2t and an m. All right? And now from here, you just see what you can reduce. So we have log 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. t squared on top. t on the bottom. I can get rid of one of them on top and bottom. So all I'm left with on the bottom is m. So this would be my final answer. Okay? That's how we simplify from expanded form. Anything in positive in front goes on top. Anything on negative, or anything negative in front goes in the denominator, and then we just reduce. And remember, you're multiplying those terms. You're not adding. We added the logs by multiplying the terms in front. Okay, so that's how we simplify. Let's do one last problem. Here's how it becomes useful. So now we have, um, we want to solve for C. So we want to figure out what is C. Well, what we have to do is take each side of this equal sign and handle it separately. So here we have log plus log. So we want to combine to make one log. So therefore, the rule is when you have log plus log, you multiply the terms. So C times C plus 2. Over here, we have log minus log. So this becomes division. So log B of 6C plus 40 divided by 2. Okay. Now the rule is once you have one log on both sides, log B, log B, once you have logs on both sides, you can actually eliminate those logs. So those are no, no longer part of the problem. So here if we were to simplify, we would want to distribute. So we get C squared plus 2C. Over here, you can actually reduce both of these numbers by 2. So we get 3C plus 20. I just divided both of these by 2. And now we have C squared, C to the first, C to the first, no C. So hopefully you guys are uh, knowing what to do from here. We want to get um, everything to one side so we can uh, put into two parentheses. So we're going to subtract the 3C, subtract the 20. So we have c squared, 2 minus 3 is negative 1c, then we have the minus 20, this side's equal to 0, and here we can factor into two parentheses, we've done this many, many times, we know it's going to be opposite symbols, factors of 20 that have a difference of 1, 5, and 4, so 5 goes with the negative, 4 goes with the positive to make a negative 1. So C equals, switch a symbol, negative 4, positive 5. Now with all these problems though, you want to go back to the original problem and see if you can plug both of these in. Because remember what we said in class is that you cannot have a log of a negative number. This does not work. You can't have a negative number. So let's see, when we plug in C to our original problem, if we plug in negative 4, we end up with log of negative 4 here. That's not possible, so that can't be an answer. But 5, though, okay, 5 is positive here. If I plug in 5, that gives me 7. That's positive. Here it's positive. And here it's a 2, so that's positive. So our final answer is just C is equal to 5. So again, with these problems, if you get more than one answer, even if you get one answer, you want to go back to the original problem, plug it back in to see if you end up with all positive values. If you do, then it works. All right. So that is how we handle logarithms in which you are multiplying two terms, okay, on the inside or dividing, or also going vice versa. If you have to combine, sorry, if you have to combine logs um, that are being added and subtracted, this is how we handle them. So good luck with that.